What the new policy directive does is it places a greater emphasis on the moon as the next step uh, beyond low Earth orbit. I think it's time for us to move out and get flying again. Engage our partners, engage our international partners, um, and, and look at the ways that we can do things differently and still get these missions done. We've got a lot of people that want to help us here. This is very different than what happened in previous major space efforts where it was really just governments. We want U.S. industry to be leading and we want to do it with our international partners uh, who've been such great partners on Space Station. Yeah, the Space Station, of course, is our, our, our preeminent testing ground right now for anything we want to do. It's, it's the first stop uh, in low Earth orbit. We're using it today to test technologies. We're using it today to get the human research done. We're also using it as an enabler for our commercial partners. Today, we need to train a new generation of explorers uh, to be able to operate in deep space. SLS and Orion, of course, is going to be set up not only to just do the, the moon, but as it, it, we're trying to be extensible to Mars. We don't want to lose that horizon goal as we go forward. And the moon is the next feasible step. Mars remains an inspiring horizon goal that we need to be working toward. Uh, but we first need to walk out of the neighborhood before we can run.